in an era dominated by landlines, payphones, and wires stretching across the world. The idea of talking to someone from anywhere was pure science fiction. But in 1983 that fiction became reality. On April 3, 1983, Motorola unveiled a device that would reshape human communication forever. The Dynatacy 8000X, the world's first commercial mobile phone. The journey began years earlier with a daring idea from Motorola engineer Martin Cooper. A belief that people deserved freedom from wires, that communication shouldn't be confined to homes, offices, or street corners. In 1973, Cooper made the first mobile call in history, standing on a New York sidewalk. But it would take a decade of engineering, innovation, and bold investment to bring that dream to the public. Then came 1983. Motorola introduced the Dynatac 8000X, a device unlike anything the world had seen. It weighed nearly a kilogram, cost almost $4,000, and offered just 30 minutes of talk time. Yet, it was revolutionary. A symbol of the future, the beginning of mobile freedom. At first, it was a luxury reserved for the wealthy and powerful, CEOs, bankers, world leaders. Holding a mobile phone wasn't just convenient. It signaled status, success, and modernity. The world had entered the wireless age. From that brick-sized Dyna2C came flip phones, texting, cameras, apps, smartphones, global connectivity. Billions today carry a mobile device in their pockets. But it all began with one bold invention in 1983. The Motorola Dyna2C didn't just make technology portable. It made communication personal. It launched an era, one that continues to shape every moment of our lives. This was the birth of the mobile phone revolution.